These videos only happen because of the support and help from our sponsors. Support the companies that support us. This is the new Indian FTR. What's it all about? We've told you that one already. If you recall, we did skids on a basketball court and went through all the specs and the changes that Indians made to make the FTR a more nimble, sporty bike. Still keeping its kind of flat track routes, but put proper sticky rubber on it and go and take it for a twisty ride around the lanes, and maybe even a bit of track time. Now we took the Bike World FTR on track within minutes of getting it, and we had an absolute hoot. We've got some brilliant shots of sliding it around in the rain, skidding it around at a test day at Blyton. It actually, it's not supposed to be on track. It was never meant to be on track, but it's a bike that really can party when you get to sticky tires and some fast corners. Indian Motorcycle says the new FTR is a sportier bike that's more agile and more capable on track. Well. Anyone can say stuff like that. So we've come to a racetrack to put those claims to the test. Oh, that is brilliant fun. There's something about riding inappropriate bikes on tracks that always puts a smile on my face. And I have my own FTR that we've been using in Bike World for the last couple of years. We've done loads of track work on that. It's funny, but you're always kind of riding around the limitations of the chassis. You've still got a limit on this chassis compared to a sports bike, but it steers better, it holds the line better and now you've got far more tire on the ground to let you carry lean angle and uh, do big slides on the way out of corners. It's, yeah, it's everything I kind of want to do to my FTR. Just those little tweaks to make it acceptable on track. Still got a few limits on ground clearance, but big hands for the throttle, nice big slides. It's bloody awesome. That's it, the tires are frazzled. We've done three tanks of fuel, I think today. My arms are fried, I've got blisters on my hands and a massive smile on my face. Is the Indian FTR fun to ride on track? Yes, it bloody well is. You know what, it has improved over the old one. The biggest thing, 17 inch wheels mean you can fit proper sized and proper shaped rubber suited to 40 riding on the road and in today's case, going flat out around a racetrack. The tires we chose are actually a kind of sports road tire. They're the Metzler Sportec, so it's not a full on out and out track tire but certainly something a lot more sporty than what the old FDR came on. That then introduces a new problem for the bike. You can carry more corner speed now. You can tip it in hard and you can carry more lean angle. However, other things then start to come into the game that have become the limiting factor with the FTR. In this situation, it was the header pipe and the cap box on the exhaust. That's a bad thing in some ways because it means that you're limited on ground clearance, but a good thing in other ways because it means it's a perfect excuse to fit a whole new exhaust system that sounds and looks awesome, and then you can go faster on track and probably claim that it's for safety reasons. The FTR is absolutely not a super sports bike. Look at it. That should be obvious. It's fairly long, it's low, and despite the changes, it's still not the sharpest steering geometry. But what it is, is an absolute riot to ride on a sporty twisty road, or in today's case, around a nice tight nagery little racetrack. What really shines through is that engine that I fell in love with the first time I rode an FTR, you can now really exploit it with the new chassis. Coming out of every turn, snapping that throttle open and getting the rear tire squirming and sliding just became addictive and the lack of ability to enter a corner fast like a sports bike was more than made up for by the fact that from the apex onwards you just snapped the gas out and fired out like you were on a big catapult. I wouldn't buy one as a track day bike but I'd absolutely have one as a fun road bike that's just as good for cruising and pottering around as it is for a proper Sunday blast and then a couple of times a year hell book it on a track day and go and embarrass a few sports bikes while you're at it. So here's a question then, do the changes Indians made to the FTR actually take away from its identity and change what it is or do they make it into a more useful usable bike? It's an interesting point. Started out as something that evolved from their flat track racing and their flat track race bike. Indian had the FTR 750 factory flat track race bike and the Rode 1200 was was kind of derived from that. Hence it had the 1918 wheel combination, hence it had the flat track tires and the flat track styling. 
Now they've gone back and put 17 inch wheels and steepened the head angle and tried to make it a sports bike. Has that left it confused? I don't know. In some ways, yes. In some ways you can say it's no longer the legitimate flat track thing it was. But what they've actually done is responded to what people were using them for and what people wanted out of them, which is a bit more performance on the road. So in one way you can say they've kind of U-turned on what the bike is and in another way you can say they've listened to what people asked for. Me, I'm all for the changes. 17 inch wheels, a steeper head angle. I still think it looks awesome and all you've got is more performance and a bit more rideability, especially on track, but actually on a fast twisty road as well. So what are the limiting factors? There's no getting away from the ground clearance. Anything else? I think the FTR would benefit from being a little bit shorter in the wheelbase. To give it that little bit more agility, make it easier to turn around town, around tight junctions, and childishly make it a bit more wheelie prone. Now it's easy for me to sit here and say that. Shortening the wheelbase of a bike has lots of knock-on effects, not least on stability and how it handles when it's got a pillion and loads of luggage on it. Maybe it's not that simple. Maybe next FTR we can have a, a short, snappy, wheelie one. And then you could jack it up and make a supermoto. And then, and then it'd be like a massive, crazy Indian version of a Ducati hypermoto. That's, that'd be brilliant. Let's do that. Let, let's everyone make supermotos. There, solved it. Off you go.